my gosh, look at these monkeys. So good afternoon from another day in Saudi Arabia and I am on another adventure. Yesterday I flew from Riyadh to Abha and today I am going to Rijal Alma. Now right now before we go though we have come to an epic viewpoint in Suda and we can see the road, the really really windy road that we're going to take down there. It is January right now, so it's kind of off season here. Um, Abha is very popular for kind of domestic tourists, especially to come in the summer because apparently in August the weather here is super cool, which is unlike the rest of the country. So lots of people come here. So, yeah, you can see here this was Al Suda season. So, last year in 2019, it was the first time they had the Al Suda season here, which I think is a bit similar to the Riyadh season as well but of course in Riyadh um, so it's really good to see way more entertainment happening here in Saudi for international tourists like myself um, and of course um, people living here as well yeah I mean I already want to come back here in the summer to see this season they had a bungee jump um, like lots of food stalls and all sorts by the looks of it <laughs> I have my flower crown I'm so happy with it. So we are at Rijal Alma. As you can also see, I am wearing the traditional wear. So this is a traditional women's thobe and the design here is from Abha. And then I've also got one of these flower crowns and we actually just bought it from a, um, a little boy um, along the road further up so anyone can get one. And then they've also just given us this when we got here, which smells absolutely delicious. So I will say the only thing about this, I'm not by any means disappointed, but I like to keep it real on this YouTube channel and provide you with kind of the real, what it's really like. From the photos that I'd seen on Instagram, I kind of thought that it was completely in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. But as you can see, obviously there is a huge car park and we're kind of in like a village here already which is good because it makes it more accessible, but I definitely hadn't seen the car park in YouTube videos. Let me put it like this. But anyway, yalla, we will go and see some more. And this here is the traditional Abha print as well. something that I didn't expect about this because I also hadn't really just seen it on the few glimpses of Instagram that I'd seen is that um, yeah there's like a really really huge museum all inside the buildings um, with lots of old pieces and um, there's some good descriptions as well in English and in Arabic so yeah it's definitely added to the experience than just seeing the outside of the buildings. <music> Okay, so this place really is beautiful and there are so many places to take photos. I can see why it has been so popular on my Instagram feed. And on that note, I want to tell you that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Now, if you don't know what Skillshare is, it is an online learning community with millions of members and thousands of classes. And the best thing is their classes range so much. For example, they've got classes on photography and web design, which is something that I am interested in. 
but they also have classes on productivity tips and illustrations. Now Skillshare have given me a link to give to you which gives you two months free subscription so I have noted that down in the description so be sure to check that out for an incredible online learning platform. Now personally in 2020 I want to improve my photography so one of the classes I've taken on Skillshare is how to take pro photos on your iPhone um, and because I am just in Abha for two days I didn't bring my big camera with me I just brought my iPhone because I traveled here with hand luggage um, so I have been taking a few photos around here with the tips that I have learnt so if you want to join this community as well then make sure you check out the link in the description for two months free subscription for Skillshare and yes you can start your January and your 2020 in the right way by learning something new. this place really is stunning and I'll be honest with you I really don't know much about the history of this place although they have got the museum it's still even quite hard to find information online you can see from here there are quite a few different villages um, which all kind of look like this this stone village um, that are also abandoned but not in as good shape and something that I have been noticing when I've been reading things online and especially coming here to Abha and meeting some of the people here um, is that the prince right now is really starting to restore and preserve these old villages so I think Raja Alma is a good example of that and hopefully in time with this 2030 vision um, that Saudi Arabia has and the increase in tourism that it wants more and more villages um, around the country will be preserved like this which I really really hope so because yeah it's just it's so fantastic that it's a way to keep Saudi history um, whilst also obviously bringing in the tourism dollars which I believe is exactly what Saudi Arabia wants um, but who can blame it because yeah I am just absolutely loving this country so far and I must also say that coming down to Abha obviously I've spent a lot of time in Riyadh um, it has been yeah just very very refreshing came down here with my couch surf host from Riyadh um, and then I just met his cousin and they're showing us around so although I'm not doing this completely independently this part of the trip to Abha um, it, it just came about by couch surfing so it was very very organic nothing through my blog um, at all um, so yeah if I can do it then anyone can do it um, and I feel like this is part of the adventure here in Saudi Arabia. Oh. 